I wanted to give the topic of JK and L trimming in the timeline its own tutorial simply because it's such a powerful and simple feature that I think editors are going to love. So the first thing I need to do is select my timeline, so that's Shift 3, and my timeline is selected with the yellow bar around it, and now I'm ready to go into trim mode, which is simply the T key. And I'm in trim mode, and I'm at the closest edit point, which is this one here. Now, for J, K and L trimming to work, you must be in trim mode, which means you need your program monitor to actually show the two windows. If it's showing just a single window and you do J, K and L, you'll simply play backwards, stop and forwards, J, K and L. But if you are in the trim mode and you see both of these windows showing you the out point of the previous clip and the in point of the next clip, then you know that you are actually going to be able to do a J, K and L edit. So what do I mean by that? I'm just going to zoom in so we can see this clip here. And it's as simple as this. J plays backwards. So if I click J and then I hit stop, you'll see that the edit point jumped to where the stopping point was. And as long as you've got head and tail footage, you can go backwards and forwards as much as you like. So if I hit L to go forwards, you'll see it plays forwards and I get to the point I want to get to, which is just there, stop, it jumps to the point and you can see the waves just coming in to catch those boys out. So J, K and L is as simple as using J, K and L. As long as you're in trim mode, i.e. you can see these two monitors, you can go backwards and forwards. To go to the next clip, it's the down arrow and the down arrow. And you can see, again, if I want to, I can do any of the edit points that I require. I carry on going through till I get to one I want to use. So this one here, so hit T to get in trim mode if I've accidentally gone out of trim mode. And again, J plays backwards. And hit K to stop. Or L to play forwards. And K to stop, and the trim point moves. And on this particular one, if I hit J to play backwards and continue to go backwards, I run out of media. And can you see just here it says, Trim Media Limit Reached on Video 1. So you're clearly told that you cannot go any further because basically there's no more headroom on video one, which is actually going to be this clip here. However, you cannot do shift J, K and L. So if I'm on this particular clip and I do shift L, which plays forward ever so slowly, so we get to a point where say the water really is coming out, and then I do K, you'll see that the clip has not moved. So if I actually go back down here in my timeline and go between those two points, you'll see that we haven't actually got to the same point where the tide would pull right out. So I'll do that again just to demonstrate. I'll go to the trim point and I'll hit Shift L and play right the way forward until that wave has gone right out so we can pretty much see the rocks. Hit L a couple of times to go a little bit quicker. There you go, we're going out a long way. L again. And hit K to stop. So Theoretically, the edit point should see the seagulls right down here and pretty much most of the rocks. But if I go back to my timeline down here and I go between the two, you'll see that we're not at the same place, which should have been here somewhere. So shift J, K and L will not work, but standard J, K and L will work. The only other thing, hit T to get into my trim mode again, is you've got this option here to be able to apply a default transition to the selection. So if you click to apply a fault transition, you'll see that the fault transition has been applied. And I can hit L to play forwards, and you'll see that you've got the default transition, which for me is the film dissolve. So that's how you can use J, K and L, which is the standard video editor's tools, to be able to edit directly in the timeline. But you can't use Shift, J and L, as this will not move the edit point as you require.